Today we are on the lookout for platypuses, and you're watching the Fantastic Four. So right now we are at Forest Secrets in Tasmania, and it's this little place where um, they have a track that you can walk through and um, through the forest and they have signs along the way and you get this, um, it's called a tucker box. And so as you go through on the walk, they have, um, they have signs that tell you when to eat different things. So um, like this piece of cheese here is, um, I can't remember what he called it, but it's made from a certain leaf that we're gonna see on the walk. So then when we see the tree, then we'll see the leaf, then we're gonna eat the cheese. And um, so right now our first thing is, um, our first thing that we're gonna eat is this little um, chocolate coated honeycomb here. And looks pretty tasty. And um, this sign over here tells us why we're gonna eat it. It's a little bit gross actually. <laughs> um, so apparently wombat scat looks like a square. Um, that's a replica of what it looks like. And um, this is also in a square. So that's why we're eating it now because it resembles wombat scat, which, yeah. So, let me try it. Oh, it looks weird. It's pretty good though. Doesn't taste like wombat scat. That's a good thing. So at this particular station, um, I am. It says, "Try me. I'm the white cool mint in your Tucker box," and this is the white cool mint. And it's telling me that the size of this mint is about the size of a platypus egg. Speaking of platypus, this is not a real platypus. This is just a replica of a platypus. But down here in the river below, we just saw a platypus in real life, like in the wild. And that is one of the main reasons we wanted to come here was because we wanted to see the platypus. They're really rare to see, um, especially in the wild. And a lot of the books that you read will tell you that they're um, really more active at dawn and at dusk. But we are here in the middle of the day and we have been watching a female platypus just sort of um, dive down into the water and then come back up to the surface several times. So we are super stoked that we got to see that today. So our next Tucker Box treat is um, uh, pepperberry cheese and I just ate a little bit and it tastes um, sort of like peppered cheese I guess um, but a little bit spicier than that and um, it's made out of these leaves here and um, you can use the leaves for other things other than cheese um, people make a liquor out of it and um, you can grind it or powder it and put it over salads or make salad dressings and use it to spice different things and so that's pretty cool interesting artwork, right? Um, this is uh, Gollum, G-O-L-E-M. Apparently it has to do with Jewish folklore where they create an animated object out of inanimate ob like other things in the woods. So for example you can see there is uh, like branches for the arms. There are bits of animal bones hanging from the neck here. The head is made entirely of mud and twigs and leaves. And then there's some sort of burlap hanging down here. This is a Jew Jewish golem, apparently. But what's really cool on this whole little track is that there is um, sort of sprinkled about different uh, bits of artwork from sculptors in the area. So uh, like one thing we passed was um, uh, artwork that was sculpted from old barn and farming tools. So it's just super interesting. So we're at 
had our next taste of the forest and we are supposed to taste wattle seed. And the wattle seed is in this biscuit in our tucker box. It's like this, a little cookie. And wattle seed was used by the earlier or early settlers in Tasmania, uh, mostly for um, medicinal purposes to help with dysentery and what else, diarrhea. Two great D words we love to say. <laughs> but um, how, you, how it was used was it was put in hot milk and sort of let um, simmer in there and then they drink the milk and then the seeds would help with those two issues. <laughs> So I don't have those issues right now, but if I did, this would solve it all. Mmm. Dysentery. So we are at our next Tucker Box stop, and I'm standing next to a tea tree uh, bush or tree, I guess. It's a tea tree. It's a tree, not a bush, but it looks like a bush. So this is a tea tree, um, also for my essential oil loving fans, a Melaleuca tree, which we just learned from this sign here, only grows in New South Wales and Queensland here in Australia. Naturally, that's where it grows. So um, from this tree, uh, we get tea tree honey as well. And so in my Tucker box, I have a little taste of tea tree honey. Mmm, it's really yummy. I didn't even know that there was such a thing as tea tree honey. What's also unique, I'm not sure if we've talked about this yet, are they have these little sniffing areas. So right here, you can put your nose up to that and sniff, and inside it has tea tree. And again, for all my essential oil-loving friends, it smells exactly like the Melaleuca oil that we use. So this is just super interesting. A, a, a forest secret, if you will. So the next thing we're gonna eat is a piece of some bread with some leatherwood honey. And this is a honey that's unique to Tasmania. And it's made out of these um, leatherwood trees right here. This is a young one, so it doesn't have the flowers right now. But um, the flowers are, um, the bees come and make honey out of the, out of the blossoms. And um, it's a taste unique to Tasmania because it's only found in Tasmania. And it's really good. So we're stopping here at this tree because it is so unique. Um, it's a eucalyptus tree. It's often called a Tasmanian oak, which is totally wrong. It's not an oak tree at all. It's a eucalyptus tree. And the unique feature of this is the bark. The bark is super, super spongy. I mean, it just feels like a sponge. And why that's unique is that this tree is very, very hard to catch on fire. And they even tried to show you where there's some burn marks here and it just won't catch on fire. It's just really, really interesting. So we are here at our last Tucker Box stop and we are learning about eucalyptus leaves, which we learned that, there is one right there, in their raw form, they can be actually quite poisonous. But um, we humans, we refine them and we can make them into something that we use for medicinal purposes. Um, like we can also put them into little lollies like this. And I think actually it's gonna taste like a cough drop, but I'll find out in just a second. I have one in now, they're pretty good. They do mm. taste like a cough drop. Oh yeah, medicinal purposes. <laughs> All right, so that's our last um, stop on our trail today. And um, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below and leave us a comment because we always love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't subscribed already, we'd love to have you as part of the Fantastic Four team. So hit the subscribe button so you can see all of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.